students hope you all are fine today we are going to start unit number 7 fractions what is the name of the unit fractions let's see what is fraction a fraction is a part of a whole it represents one or more equal parts of a whole object look at the first picture it's called halves because it is divided into two equal parts and each part is called one half of the figure second picture of pizza shows thirds it means it is divided into three equal parts and each part is called one third third one picture shows quarters means it has four equal parts and each part is called one quarter or one fourth let's see what are halves what is this yes it's a whole figure of a pizza which is cut into two equal parts like this and each part is called one half and two halves make one whole so this figure shows one half of the figure equal and unequal parts look at these rectangles these are divided into different parts the first one shows whole part means it's a complete figure next rectangle is divided into two equal parts it has two parts and both are equal the last one rectangle shows two unequal parts means it has two parts but they are not equal triangle the first one shows whole part second one has three equal parts and in the last triangle it has three parts but they are not equal look at the circles the first is whole part means it's a complete circle next has four parts which are equal and in the last circle it has four unequal parts now open page 94 and let's start exercise work it out take the shapes that have equal parts of a whole Can you tell me in first row which figure shows equal parts? Yes, very nice. It's first and third. And in the next row it's second and third. And can you tell me in the third row which figure shows equal parts? Yes, very good. It's first and second. and in the last row it's second and third okay halves of a square before this we have studied about half of a circle now we are going to study halves of a square look at this square it is divided into two equal parts it can be divided horizontally and vertically it means the square is divided into two equal parts one part out of two equal parts is colored that is one half of the square is colored 
Now open page 96 and it's your homework to complete exercise work it out question number 1 color the flowers that show halves look at these flowers find which flower shows halves and then color them and in question number 2 color one half of each shape you have to color only one part of each shape okay class 1 note down the homework do page 94 and 96 in book complete your books and send it to school thank you